hi everyone welcome back to the channel the ninth cup where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose this is going to be a general reading for the chiron chiron placement and the sign of capricorn if you have your natal chiron and capricorn this reading is for you it is general just take what resonates and leave the rest and for those of you who are current subscribers thank you so much for sharing your energy with me and for those of you who are new and stopping by welcome my name is karen michelle yearwood i'm an intuitive guidance counselor and i help people like yourself along the ascension journey so the Chiron it is well let me take a step back I do study Western astrology and I do read charts in the whole signs method so there is that and according to the Western astrology a belief system the Chiron is known as the wounded healer it's an aspect in our natal charts it looks like a K sitting on top of a, a zero or a, a key and that is the energy around our soul's wounds from past lives or even earlier in this lifetime but it's also where we're gifted in helping others heal so depending on the house placement the aspects that are being made to your chiron that's going to give some more insight into how your chiron actually manifests in your life and how you can resolve it um, throughout your human experience so let's go ahead and get some astrology cards i'll get a three card spread and then we will wrap up with um some more oracles so chiron in capricorn this is a saturnian sign so your wounding could be around authority figures or using your own authority, fatherhood figures, um, father figures, I should say. Oh, here we are, 10th house. This is your house, Capricorn. Capricorn is the natural ruler of the 10th house. All right, so that's career, your outer persona, public persona. There's the third house, the natal house of Gemini. So some of you could have your Chiron in the third house in Capricorn or in the 10th um, in Capricorn, if you're that would make you an Aries rising. Um, Pluto is the last uh, oracle here. Some of you could have your natal Pluto making a strong aspect to your um, your Chiron. And then we have second house at the bottom of the deck. Second house is the natural house of um, Taurus. So we have a lot of houses here. Interesting. This tells me that maybe some transits that are going on in your natal chart could be, um, you know, lighting up or activating your Chiron in some way, you know, with the 10th house here. You'll have to let me know in the comments um, what placements you have here, 10th house, 3rd house, um, the 2nd house where your Pluto is. Um, and this also could be um, the Pluto transit as well. I just I just thought of that. Now, um, Pluto is about to make its way out of Capricorn into Aquarius. Um, so there is that energy, but that's really impacting the collective. Pluto is a generational planet because it moves so slowly through each sign. Um, but this is like, you know, communicating probably your worth, your, you know, um, what you know, your expertise and how that helps you bring in some sort of income or, um, you know, value, you know, money and assets and financial stability and abundance. This is really interesting energy. I like this. So there could be something transforming here. You know, the way you make money, the way um, you present yourself in your career, you know, your public persona could be really taking, um, some change you're not taking i was going to say taking some hits but that's not really what i meant I meant taking some um you know deep transformations right it's really going through some uh some evolution right so maybe some of you and this could be simple right it doesn't have to be anything super you know out of the norm this could be literally you went to school and now you're graduating right you you know you went to um, a trade school and now you're, you're certified and you can go work and so you now you're kind of moving about differently you're no longer a student you're now um you know a subject matter expert in whatever it is you're doing it could be something like that as well um let me see make sure this is clear okay let's go ahead and get to your tarot capricorn i'll use the um familiars tarot deck for you all i'm going to get the current position um challenge and then um expect it out outcome or insight from spirit so what's the current position what's the current issue or situation with chiron and capricorn we have the knight of wands so maybe afraid to take action the knight of wands is a very quick energy the knight of wands has an agenda so maybe being unclear about what you want to pursue unclear about you know um what is going to bring in some value for you at the bottom of the deck right now is the eight of cups so this is a need to walk away from something, but I think that there is a lack of clarity on just what direction to take. And Capricorn is an earth sign, right? It likes to have the answers. It likes to have a, a plan, a strategy. It likes practicality. So, you know, you may not want to, again, like I said, pursue something or begin a new endeavor without that knowledge. Let's see what we have here. I want to get one clarifier. 
Temperance, the card of Sagittarius. Hmm, interesting. So temperance is really about patience. Maybe spirit is coming through and saying to you, be patient because where you need to go and what steps and strategies you need to have are going to become clear in the near future. Um, temperance is also like an um, alchemist. It's an alchemy energy. So there could be something here where maybe there are some talents and skills you have that you don't know or you don't think or believe to be valuable or can be applicable to what it is you'd like to do. So revisit that. Yeah, bottom of the deck, two of swords. There's a lack of clarity I was channeling. All right, but there's, you know, could be two um, main options or offers that come through for you. What's the challenge now? What more specifically do we need to know about um, some challenges or blind spots that could come through? The Eight of Swords, there's the mental uh, mental clutter, overthinking things. Let's get one clarifier. The Emperor. Yeah, so the Emperor is a card of Aries. And this is about, um, you know, the Emperor is a strategist. You know, he's above all the kings. And so, you know, with this being in the blind spot, this could be one of two things. I'm thinking of somebody that may try and hinder your success. Um, remember in the beginning, I said your wounding could be around father figures, figures of authority. Well, the emperor represents that. Um, so this could be something um, relating to, you know, a father figure or, you know, a male figure. It could be a boss as well. It doesn't have to be family. That is, uh, you know, the person that's going to kind of give you the green light, right? Or maybe this could be somebody who you're, you're set to receive an inheritance from and you know making a certain change may impact that um, or, you know, affect that relationship, you know, if it is familial. Um, if it's more professional, you know, somebody who has to like sign off or kind of give you the approval to interview or to recommend you for a position and you know that they may not, you know, uh, give you the best review if they know that, you know, you want to move off their team or they're no longer going to be a part of like whatever you do professionally. So I'm kind of going there. That's kind of a specific message, but it just, you know, I basically, this is coming through for me energetically as like a roadblock, like this person, this figure here is like, they somehow would get in the way. Right. And so apply it how it resonates. Um, that could manifest in many different ways, especially since it's next to the eight of swords, um, and the eight of cups again here at the bottom of the deck. And I did shuffle the deck. Um, I'm not sure if you heard me here for this this column I did shuffle a couple of times actually so that eight of cups walking away that eight of swords here mental chatter so it's almost like you're trying to go forward with something but there's no clarity there's no like clear strategy and there is not someone who's going to support you or like you know assist you they may be like a, a bit of a naysayer even so that emperor is actually coming through a little bit in the reverse energy I don't read reversals I just you know channel intuitively so there is that, all right, this emperor and this eight of swords. So what's the best possible outcome? Suggestions from spirit. The magician. Know that you have all the tools you need to manifest what it is you want. You don't need another mere mortal to give you permission to soar into your soul's destiny is what I'm getting with that magician card. One more, the knave of cups. So this is the page of cups. Interesting, start small. Be a lifelong learner, bottom of the deck, queen of wands, staying in your power, staying in your truth, have conviction about what it is you have to offer. Um, interesting energy here, Capricorn. Yeah, I definitely think you, you know, what's in store for you is something bigger and better, but you're getting a little bit caught up in getting stamps of approval, um, getting support, getting like, you know, you know, your check marks and things like that. But I think spirit is here to say like, you really don't need that. Um, just kind of proceed and trust, you know, with this temperance card, temperance is also trust like, as well. As a reader, I see temperance as, you know, having trust in the process and in yourself, all right? And then the magician card is that as well, right? The magician card has all the elements. He has the wands, the cups, the pentacles, and the swords. Symbolic for having all of the tools and, you know, skills and talents necessary to manifest what it is you'd like. All right, Moonology cards here to wrap up the reading. Luck is on your side. New Moon in Sagittarius. Yeah. Definitely. You're luckier than you think. And then um, you and your loved ones are safe. New Moon in Cancer. So this maybe could be relevant to, you know, if that emperor is a father figure, like, a, you know, an actual family, like uncle, father, older brother, 
something like that nothing is yet set in stone mutable moon yeah so there's a lot of things up in the air a lot of things are changing but that's great though because i think with you know it's kind of a um it's like dramatic irony here because you want things to be clear and you want things to kind of be set in stone because that's capricorn energy that's attorney energy but because they're not there is this ability for things that are even greater and bigger than what you imagine to come into you know your life whatever that is for you expect powerful change yeah new moon eclipse here at the bottom of the deck all right so i love this reading for you capricorn um if something here resonates please like the video if this is your kind of thing subscribe to the channel um i do hope to see you all in the next reading and be sure to thrive bye